Hi, my name's Danny Hickling. I'm a 44-year-old computer programmer from Berkeley Vale on the central coast of New South Wales. I'm a father of four. I've got four kids ranging from 22 to 10. Obstacle course racing is something that the whole family's gotten involved in as well. So my nephew, he's been training with me for a while now out at the obstacle course racing school out there with Mick Gleason. And he's headed over to the World Championships in Canada in October and uh, I'm going to go over there with him. Both my boys also train obstacles. They've um, been out to mix junior class. And my daughter Aisha has run a couple of races with me now as well and um, she's done quite well. So I'm into um, a bunch of stuff, none of which is making videos. Um, so that's why I've got my mate Kelvin here to help me out. <laughs> Say hello Kelvin. Hey. <laughs> um, some of the stuff I am into, I'm into some, uh, well there's two sides I guess, I'm into some nerdy stuff. So I like uh, sci-fi, I'm into um, role playing games, I'm into computer games, all that sort of stuff. The other sort of thing that I'm into is fitness stuff. So. I'm into martial arts. I've got two black belts, a black belt in Hapkido and a black belt in Taekwondo. I've been training martial arts uh, for eight years now. Probably the thing that's more relevant to Australian Ninja Warrior though is that I'm into obstacle course racing. So I've done a lot of training with Mick Gleason out at the obstacle course racing school at Tugra. I've got quite a bit of experience, so uh, apart from doing local races, I've also done uh, a couple of 24 hour events over in the States. So in 2013, 2014, I went over to America um, and competed in a 24 hour race called World's Toughest Mudder. I've also done a local 24 hour race, the True Grit Enduro, just recently, where I did eight laps and racked up 88 Ks and about 240 obstacles. Um, motivation for getting into all this stuff was um, two parts, I guess. Uh, in 2003, my dad uh, got sick and uh, he had a brain tumour and he, um, he passed away at quite a young age and at the time I remember thinking um, I need to start doing some of the stuff that I thought it made me think you don't necessarily have forever to do stuff so maybe I need to start doing some of the stuff that I've been putting off until later on. Then in 2009 I got sick and I, I had my own battle with cancer. I got a nasopharyngeal tumour which um, had to be treated with seven weeks of radiation and six weeks of chemo. And at that stage, I started to realize that some of those things that I said that I wasn't gonna put off, I'd started to get complacent again and started putting off as well. So I, um, post treatment, uh, it, which was really tough, like I went from a, about 84 kilos down to 70 kilos and it really messed me about. So when I got uh, over that, I got back into the fitness stuff and I really, it, it became an obsession, I guess, and I describe it as my midlife crisis, my version of a midlife crisis. So um, since then, I've been trying to run around with guys 15, 20 years my junior and trying to keep up with them, um, doing a pretty decent job, I guess. Why do I think I have what it takes to win Australian Ninja Warrior? Um, I've been training out at the Obstacle Course Racing School now for um, going on three years, I guess. My girlfriend Rebecca used to work out there and she introduced me to Mick Gleason out there just before I went over to World's Toughest Mudder the first time. And originally I went out there just to, to meet Mick and find out about um, World's Toughest Mudder. I thought, oh, I'll do some obstacle training, but mostly I'm just there to find out about World's Toughest. But uh, I, once I started training obstacles, I found that it makes a massive difference to how well you can do obstacles. And, it's not just a strength game, but a skill game. So once you start learning how to do obstacles, you can save a lot of energy by doing them more efficiently. And uh, I think that I've learned quite well off Mick and that will help me to get through to the end of the course. Nice. Awesome.